you can see I've got a text input and the gallery showing some items from the CDS and a submit button, but I've decided I also want to add a drop down. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, there's our drop down, and I want to populate this drop down with some external data. Now, in my case, I'm going to connect this to a CDS entity, but you could be connecting it to um, Azure, an Azure table, or most likely a SharePoint list. So let me go ahead and connect that to my data connection. We hit play. There we go. I've got, I can see all my Australian cities. Now you might have noticed something happen when, as soon as I connected that to the external data, it um, obviously it populated the drop down, but it also selected the value in the drop down to be the first item coming from the external data. Typically, you would like to have either a blank entry or or maybe a default entry being something other than the value that you're going to select in the drop down. So in my example with the Australian cities, I would probably like to either have the first item showing or, or the default value for that drop down as being blank. Or maybe, you know, I usually like setting it to something like select dot dot dot. Now, when you're connecting a drop down, you can't do that by default. It just automatically populates this drop down with values from the external data. And there's no way to set a default value of blank for this drop down list. You know, we can set a default value over here by selecting something, but we can't make it blank. It just will always select the first item in that drop down list. Now, there's an easy way around this, so let me show you how to do it. Instead of hooking this up directly to our data connection, we want to connect it to a collection. So we need to set the collection up first, and then we will um, hook up our drop down to it. So in here, I like to normally do that. Well, a good place to do that is on app load. So go up and do a clear collect because that's how we establish a collection and we want it to be connected to our well we want the collection to be called let's just call it Oz cities and the data we're going to populate that from is our data connection and we just want the name field quickly run that now in here, instead of our data connection, let's just put our collection in there. And yep, we still have our values and it's still doing exactly the same as before. Like we're not seeing any, we just, we've just got the options that are coming from the data connection. So if we go back to our app, now what we need to do here, we need to establish the collection first before we populate it with the external data. And that gives us an opportunity to create the first entry in our collection. Now we need to, one of the things you need to do is you need to line up the columns. So when we're creating the collection, we need to create the collection with the column name that's coming from the data connection. And an easy way to do that, if we go file collections, we can see our collection that we've created here and our column name that is being populated. Now, if you remember, I just, I, when I hooked up the collection here, if we go back to the collection, I chose name field. And because you're seeing something a little bit different in, um, in the way this is showing up, because this is coming from the um, CDS and the CDS prefixes the column with this uh, value here. But in your, if you're using SharePoint or Azure, you won't be seeing this prefix. You'll just be seeing the column name. The other thing that the CDS does is it lowercases everything. So this is CRD 96 underscore name. And that's our column name. So if we go back to our clear collect, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to add a record in CRD96 underscore name, which is our column name. And the data we want to populate that with is select. Now, if I run that, you can see our drop down is now showing select, which is great, but we've lost all of our values coming from our external data source. So if we go back to app, 
and we want to do a next step here. We want to just do a collect. We're going to add a new entry into this collection. And the new entry or entries are going to be coming now from Australian cities. Name field. We run that again. Click play. And now we can see all of our values, what we also have as the first option, select. We can even go one step further and make sure that that is always the default value for that control. Hey, hit the like button if you like this video, comment something in the comments section below, and of course subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos. I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.